We're delighted that you're all here. Uh, we are deeply honored to have Coach Chizik here, uh, a great coach to receive, one of the most important awards that the Academy gives, and that's the Amos Alonzo Stag Award, uh, the grand old man of football. Uh, Stag was born in 1982 during the time of the Civil War. Uh, he passed uh, at the age of 103, uh, but he was still coaching in his 90s. He uh, is known for his great football career, a record of over 300 wins, which was broken <coughs> by Eddie Robinson of Grambling uh, in 1985. In fact, the same year that Bo Jackson uh, won the Heisman. Uh, both Eddie Robinson uh, came to uh, the Academy to receive that first English Alonzo Stag Award, uh, and so did Bo Jackson along with the president of the University of Auburn. Uh, Stag was not only a great coach in football, but I've known some people, he is a man who started five-man basketball. Prior to that time, college basketball was played with three people. Uh, the fifth man came under his development. By the same token, uh, he coached for many, many years, I believe about 27 years as a baseball coach, and he is the innovator of the batting cage. And if you go on to this man's career, he also served as a U.S. Olympic track and field coach in Paris. And 1924. Man of great integrity, great wisdom, uh, a leader in sport just like Coach Chizik, and we are delighted to have him here to receive the Amos Alonzo Stag Award. Reversing the program that you have in your hand, uh, which I suspect I have the license to do, <laughs> I'm going to call upon Ron Stout, a councilman here in Dafty, who will present you, sir, with the key to the city. Mentioned in 1942, and he was uh, covering sports in 42. My parents took my 12 year old uh, oldest cousin from Prattville, Alabama to Columbus, Georgia in 1942 to see the mighty Georgia Bulldogs play Auburn. Georgia was a prohib prohibitive favorite that day, undefeated, had Frankie Sinkwich, the Heisman Trophy winner. And you know that Auburn won that game that night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was the same year that Georgia beat Florida, 75 to nothing, and Florida beat Auburn, but you know how this compared to Stanford. Anyway, thank you, Coach. Here's the other token that I appreciate. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Thank 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 you. The second presentation is a, a very unique thing. I, I'm going to challenge the coach to see if you can get that on the airplane or keep it here. <laughs> uh, uh, Bruce, would you stand, please? Um, I've always been, when people ask me where I'm from, I've always been very proud to say all that. But thanks to you, sir, I'm a little more proud. <laughs> I made this for you. Uh, I think this is special in the sense that uh, Bruce is a graduate of Auburn and his father has been a long, long time professor at the university. Cool. Now for the main presentation, which is the Order of the Eagle Exemplar. Uh, I suppose for today the eagle on this medal can be called the War Eagle. Uh, it would be fitting in this occasion. I call upon Bob Campbell. Uh, the Chairman of the Board of Trustees, we stand by. We should never say anything during these boards. Uh, uh, my two sons graduated from Auburn. They're wild Auburn fans. We had 
40 or 50 people over at our house every weekend this last season. And I'm surrounded by Alabama fans at Alabama party. And we just kept yelling, Warrior, you're a warrior, you're a warrior, you made our season. <laughs> Uh, what a great honor, and what a great honor it is for uh, me to be number one in this part of the state where uh, obviously football is king, and um, we, uh, we, we have a lot of players on our football team from this area that play a very important role uh, in me standing up here, and uh, this is a team game, and you know, this is a phenomenal honor for me, for all of you gentlemen. Uh, I appreciate it. I'm astounded, Bruce, by that. That was incredible. And uh, it's even more incredible that it's an Auburn guy that did it. <laughs> makes it even more interesting. But uh, no, really. Uh, I've been very blessed in this, these last few months to be uh, part of a very special group. And, uh, you know, this is the first time that I've been here at the Sports Academy. What a phenomenal uh, environment, sports environment. I uh, tell you, you guys take a lot of pride in who you are and what you do. And uh, that's what it's all about. And, uh, so it's very much of an honor for me to be here to, again, receive these different things, the key to the city, the medals, the, the unbelievable sculpture. And uh, it's just a, it's a testament to a great group of people that I'm around on a daily basis. This is not about me. This is not about me. I, I, I receive these very humbly uh, and very appreciative of the opportunity. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's really about uh, a whole lot of people, coaches, administrators, players. And so I uh, really receive these on really on behalf of everybody else but me. Uh, but what an incredible uh, ceremony. Really appreciate all of the, the Auburn people that showed up here. It's really a cool thing. I, I see right now I've got a little girl that looks like she's anywhere between uh, maybe one and two. And then I have a the gentleman back here that was the sports information guy in 1942, so I don't want to guess your age and make anybody mad. I've got a whole range of Auburn people here from... Only 91. There you go. <laughs> You're proud, aren't you? I can tell. But anyway, uh, that's what it's all about. But uh, this is, again, I just want to thank you. And uh, I want to say that uh, uh, we're very appreciative at Auburn to just have an opportunity to, you know, uh, represent just a great, great institution, a great school with so much passion and pride. You know, yesterday we had fan day, and uh, it was incredible, uh, the turnout. And, you know, it's just um, it's football season. Yeah. And, uh, today we gave our football team uh, the day off to get ready for school, getting ready to get started. So I was able to come down here and, and very blessed that I had this opportunity. Uh, and again, just very, uh, very humble and very uh, appreciative of uh, an event like this is put together. You know, a lot of times people just think you throw this thing together and some people come and show up and you give an award, but they don't understand the countless hours that so many people put in to make something like this what it is. And uh, so I know that, and, uh, and I appreciate that, and so does uh, everybody in the Alden family. So, again, uh, very honored to be able to wear the medal and uh, very uh, honored to be able to receive this award, uh, especially with uh, the prestigious uh, people that have accompanied and received this award uh, before me. And uh, so very, uh, very appreciative of that. So uh, just again, want to say thank you to everybody involved and uh, couldn't, be, uh, couldn't be more appreciative of, of what you guys have done. So. Uh, we got football season around the corner, and uh, we're going to have to get back shortly after the ceremony, but we, uh, we definitely uh, appreciate everything and all the efforts that we put forward to make this event special. So thank you very much. and